Thank you. Now we're going to take a look at some of tomorrow's front pages. With me tonight, I'm joined by the social researcher Dr. Orna Young and by the solicitor Paul Tweed. Orna, let's start with the front page of the Irish Times. And uh, they are leading with that story that uh, we had, the uh, shooting in County Fermanagh. Yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, if the consequences weren't so serious and tragic, I mean, you'd think it was a scene from uh, Midsummer Murders. I mean, it's just almost surreal. And that sort of somewhat, uh, what will be an iconic photograph on the front page of the Irish Times with the, the girl in her wedding dress mm -hmm. and with all this uh, tragedy that's unfolded around her. It's quite yes. surreal. Yeah. The, we're sticking with the front page of the Irish Times, Paul, and uh, there is this uh, ongoing bid to buy Aer Lingus by IAG headed by Willie Walsh. Um, you would be a regular flyer. Um, what would be your view of the, the sale of Aer Lingus? Well, to regular flyer, actually, uh, I would be very concerned. It's the same concerns that have been expressed by the Secretary of State that, you know, we have at the moment British Airways and Aer Lingus flying the route between Belfast City and Heathrow. As well and, as Gatwick. As well as Gatwick. And, I mean, I can't see, if uh, IAG take over, I cannot see them running both routes, uh, particularly where, uh, as, I, if, as I understand from the Irish Times earlier in the week, the slots alone, the Aer Lingus slots alone, are apparently worth 1.2 billion euro. So I, it, the, the, the question is, you know, will the Belfast route justify that investment in terms of slots? And my concern is that they'll just do away with the Aer Lingus route and uh, we will all have to queue that bit uh, longer to get on the, the British Airways plane. And that's a big concern, particularly where, you know, it's a main artery for many of us who work in London as well as Belfast, you know, that we depend on that, that route on a daily basis. Michael O'Leary's take on this was slightly different. He is a major shareholder in Aer Lingus and was saying that, you know, London isn't the hub it once was. Well, certainly to me, it's still the hub, and I think to you know most people that I would work with in Belfast, I mean, hub or London and Heathrow in particular is still very much a necessary hub for us to do business on, on a daily basis. Would you be of the pages? The three women involved in the movie Fifty Shades of Grey, which opens here at the weekend, uh, but uh, has already opened in Berlin. Well, I'm certainly keeping an eye out in the kitchen for the rope and the duct tape, just in case uh, the wife appears with it, but no sign yet, so uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I, I, I see. Well, as I said, it's, it's there anyway, uh, and, and it also makes the front page. Uh, just before I move on, how do you know about such things? Uh, oh, I just read about it there, please. Oh, I see. <laughs> right, that's, that's, <laughs> I thought there was a secret there you wanted to yeah, share no, with no, us, no, but no, maybe not. The big story on the front page of The Guardian is the ongoing leaks uh, about HSBC in Switzerland. Absolutely interesting, certainly so far as the Guardian story is concerned. Uh, it's moved on from tax evasion to question evasion, and they're criticising the Prime Minister. Apparently four times he was asked about tax evasion, and the bank chief he made a minister, uh, and uh, four times he evaded the answer. And certainly what you know, would spring to my mind, uh, I mean, the Prime Minister, I'm sure we all remember, was very outspoken and very aggressive towards the comedian Jimmy Carr uh, whenever he uh, was accused of... Not paying of, his taxes. Uh, not paying allegedly. his taxes, yes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he was singled out. So it is very diff difficult, you know, to equate and understand these two scenarios where, you know, it mm -hmm. seems to be all right to appoint a minister who uh, mm -hmm. perhaps is, is controversial yes. and yet a comedian who perhaps is regarded as being fair game mm -hmm. uh, is singled out and attacked in this for now, Paul Tweed, Orna Young, thank you both very much indeed. And that is UTV Live tonight uh, on this Wednesday evening. We're back again tomorrow. Until then, from the entire team, thank you for watching. Good night and sleep well.